everyone, welcome to another video. Today I really want to go show you guys what I've been talking to my dad about a lot these days and it's about money, investing in money and stuff like that. So I got right here a whiteboard and it's about the rich dad and the poor dad. It's a lot of explaining but I think we're gonna make it. So it's about um, assets and liabilities. Assets spend money into your pocket and liability takes money out of your pocket each time. So you see a car, oh I still want the car, you buy the car. That is not a liability just yet, but every time you pay for the gasoline, you pay for the rent, you pay for everything and all, that is liability because it keeps on pulling money out of your pocket, you're losing money and losing money. Assets, the other way around. If you guys a house and you rent it, for a long time, it puts money into your pocket. You don't do anything, it comes money into your pocket without you needing to work. So, back to the whiteboard. The rich dad actually has more assets and the poor dad has more liabilities, as you can see. The poor dad, so it, stop, so it starts here at the job, then it goes to the income, sorry guys, to the income, then the, it's only income is the salary. The salary is only income, okay, I just mixed it up. Then it goes all the way around here. It doesn't have any assets, so it goes around the assets. It stops here at all of the liabilities it has. So many liabilities, mortgage, school loans, credit card debts, whatever, put it all in. Then it goes again to here, and it goes out, so you have no more money. Then the rich dad statement, sorry, the rich dad statement, it uh, begins actually all the way down here. So it goes from his assets to his income, and of course he has very good income. With his money that he has from his assets, he invests it. He has expensive, yes, he does have expenses, but his expenses are almost none. From the poor dad, he has taxes, mortgage, mortgage, school loans, car loans, whatever. The rich dad almost doesn't. It almost has no liabilities. Of course it does. I mean, food, uh, taxes, of course, yes, it does. It must pay. But then he is smart enough to the money that he still has from his assets, he goes all the way back to to assets and puts the money again in the assets. So he puts more money in the assets. So he buys more houses to rent. And then it goes on and on and on and on and on. So that's why the rich dad keep on getting richer and the poor dad keep on getting poorer. So yeah, so that is the whole statement that I did actually get from the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, so that's why I got the Rich Dad Poor Dad thing. And it's an incredible book. I really think you should, I, it's a big suggestion for, for me, for you guys to read all. It's this also an audible book of it, uh, and there's also a normal book of it, so you can read both. And I think it's also one on the, that you can read digital, but never mind you can buy that one it's an amazing book i really suggest to you guys i got this from dear from that one and if you guys have read it see it's that easy and yeah i hope you guys like the video i hope you guys learned something from it i hope you guys really are going to change your life and don't worry if you are one of those poor dads or poor mom poor child don't worry you can change it instead of buying liabilities buying that car actually don't worry just make sure that you do have the assets so that's what if you are rich you are allowed of course buy a car buy a nice house of course you are but you must have income keep on coming in keep on coming in the money otherwise you can't so i hope you guys like the video bye guys see you guys next time